Hello everyone and welcome to Sandbox Aircraft Design in Kerbal Space Program 1.2.2 and in this video I have the Dornier DO-335A. This is based on the A1 which had a shorter wing than later variants and uh, was sort of a pre-production model and I've got it in racing colors and that's mainly because I couldn't paint uh, the engine parts in camouflage yet. I can actually change the color of uh, well, actually, I ought to be able to change the color of that cockpit, but it's not functioning right now. Which brings me to uh, the issue of 1.3, which I'll talk about uh, while we fly. But, yeah, uh, it seems like Realism Overhaul in 1.3.1 is available, and it seems to be working just fine. So I'll be probably upgrading my aircraft install to that, and maybe then we'll get proper texture on that, because DCK, the mod that does that, works better in 1.3. Anyway, uh, I was thinking about camouflage because you can get an olive green on these. Uh, these are actually from uh, from Fire Spitter all the way back. Fire Spitter has been updated recently, but it still works just fine. And um, I can paint the wings, of course, any way I like. But because there are certain parts I can't paint, uh, I decided to go with this uh, racing variant because, well, it looks cool. And actually, this plane works somewhat like a racer. Anyway, uh, there is one little uh, quirk to this. You have to use flaps for it. So I have configured flaps and at 20 degrees. And I customarily parent uh, decrease flap to 6 and increase flap to 7. And that's actually because in Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, increasing the flap increment is F7 and decreasing is F6. So you have to use the flaps on this, otherwise you'll scrape the tail off, obviously. So uh, here we go. Uh, I will pick the shuttle runway and let's see how it works. Structurally, this is the correct mass. Uh, at least Wikipedia says that it was 7.4 tons. I actually added lead weight into both the front and the back in order to get the correct mass. Uh, we are not fully loaded. It should be able to carry more than this, uh, but I've loaded about half the available load. It should be able to carry up to 9.4 tons was its max take takeoff weight. Um, other than that, I'll just talk about it as we fly. So throttle up and autopilot thingamajiggy. And here we go, John Dunn Kerman. Now initially we had a lot of veering issues with this, but that was because of the, oh, and we still have some veering issues, but let's just take off. So you can see with the flaps, uh, we save ourselves from scraping the tail off. That's handy. But the way to solve the veering issues was to put these on girder segments. Of course, the landing gear would tuck into the wings here, but we don't have landing gear that work like that. Or at least no landing gear that I found that I have faith in. Um, so, but yeah, they're supposed to tuck in the wings like that. And so they need to be outboard like this. And I put little girder segments because you don't want to attach the landing gear to the wings, you want to attach it to the body, but you can't tweak it out all the way that uh, that far away, so the girder segments help with that and add stability. The engines are uh, Junkers Yumo uh, 213As, which have about the same power as the engines on the DO-335 would have, so I decided it was a good, good enough match without creating a new engine. It flies magnificently uh, after it's been balanced, and that entails making sure the lead weights are nice, uh, nicely placed. There's a more up front here than in the back, but that's partly because uh, we um, we have the lead weight closer to center mass there. So that's a little bit irritating the way that's looking right now. The cockpit is from Airplanes Plus. These are just procedural tanks from procedural parts. I forget which mod the engine model is from, but the engine data is from AJE. So, advanced jet engines, of course. And, of course, all the wing parts are B9 procedural wings. Now, the top speed of this plane was 475 miles an hour, and it basically tops out at that so I'm satisfied with its performance in that respect. It's also pretty nimble with high g-force. It really brings that prograde vector along with it. It has trouble slowing down, honestly, and actually probably the best strategy for that would be 
actually, even if I um, shift down one engine, it should still be able to fly. Let's check that out. So, obviously, the rear prop is set to reverse uh, rotation. Not at the speed that we were going before, but that's slightly decelerating. Of course, um, Kerbal Aerodynamics still makes it easier to do some things than they strictly should be in real life. And I mean, there was no cockpit that I could get to match the round shape of that. Or at least if I wanted to match that, it, it wouldn't have the sort of grill on the cockpit the way that the, the real fighter did. I should probably be in locked view for this. I like the buffeting though. The buffeting is good. Oh, let's take a look at the launch sites that we have here. Yeah, so it's a pretty nimble plane altogether. But let's get it back down to the shuttle runway. And I'll just keep it on one engine, because it's really OP with two. It's not like these engines are weak or anything. They're they're nearly 2,000 horsepower. So yeah, Realism Overhaul has been updated for 1.3. And in fact, uh, thankfully, the forum threads on the Realism Overhaul page have also been updated. Uh, so all you really need to do is go to the forum page for Realism Overhaul and you can uh, just click the links that are the requirements for it and if you want to manually install it. If you want to do CCAN, that's fine, of course. Oh well, I think so. I haven't tried it. But I just went to the page and downloaded the required mods from the links on the page and the recommended mods that I usually use. I don't use procedural fairings for everything and uh, there are a few other mods like semi-saturatable reaction wheels that I do not use. So, but otherwise, they seem to be alright. And everything's been working fine. I, in fact, imported craft files from 1.1.3 to test in 1.3.1. And those have been doing okay. Uh, some of them had a few parts missing, as you might expect, because the mods have changed. I have not tried career mode in 1.3.1 and don't really intend to anytime soon. But doing sandbox box stuff like this or like Mars missions might be interesting. We will see. I don't know if there's any performance improvement yet. I haven't really pushed it to its limits or anything. So I'll probably do a video on Realism Overhaul in 1.3 soon. I don't think there really needs to be any special effort to installing it because all the links on the forum page have been updated so it's pretty straightforward. You just dump stuff in game data. We're still going very fast. Oh, well, it's all down. Uh, just talking away, not paying attention to what I'm doing. It's got so much lift. Uh, I mean, I guess they had to increase the wing for later variants because they wanted to increase the load on it. But uh, as it is, it doesn't really need any help in the lift department. Uh, we hopped. We still hopped. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to go around again. If you do have any airplane requests, I'll take them into consideration. I made this during a Twitch live stream, so uh, if you want to see how I put these things together, uh, probably watch me on Twitch and encourage me to do an aircraft of some kind. Yeah, I'd say I probably need speed brakes on this. I don't know if the real thing had them, but feels like it would be really easy to come in too fast with one of these. Well, here I am not throttling down again though. I do want to avoid the gaps in the runway. There's one coming right at us. Uh, can I avoid that one? 
Oh, I lost the bottom bit again. Okay, but we're stopping. Oh, uh, sort of sliding into a parking slot. Um, wait, what? Oh, we lost the actual rudder piece there. Oh, well. Yep, some work to do here, but it flies well, actually. It flies pretty well, and I'm reasonably pleased with it, uh, though some of the lines might need to be fixed right there. I need to shorten up that horizontal stabilizer so that it doesn't poke out there like that. But, yep, anyway, uh, just a short video on a plane. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.